But imagine the complexities and the possibilities here. We can make it not only look things up, but then verify it was from the right sources and from the right dates. And this could enhance content that you're creating. Say, for example, you've created a blog and you want to look up more sources for fun facts on productivity hacks or AI hacks or whatever it is. Hi, my name is Dimitri Panici, and I'm a content creator, agency owner, and AI enthusiast. You're listening to the AI Agents Podcast, brought to you by Jotform, and featuring our very own CEO and founder, Ida Kintank. This is the show where artificial intelligence meets innovation, productivity, and the tools shaping the future of work. Enjoy the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that are unaware, there was a responses API update for ChatGPT. And... For all intents and purposes, we are really excited because this new Responses API update is pretty interesting. However, what's kind of hard with the Responses API is that while it did involve a search function and things like that and file search references, it unfortunately was not able to do said things in a tangible and easy way outside of the OpenAI playground. But using make.com and through automations, there's a new secret release that happened for all of you make.com builders. Literally, this can make your workflows in make.com go from eh with the AI to oh with AI. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a new scenario and show you exactly what I mean. All I need to do is type chat GPT. And there's a couple new things that you see here. If I click on this, what we have is a couple improvements that are pretty incredible. All we need to do is create a completion, okay? So this completion is essentially going to be for something that you're probably shocked with. You know, we obviously have some additions here with 03, 01, 4.5, all these types of things are inside of the API now. So you have different writing models to work with. That's cool. But, 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 there's a couple more. We have 4.0 audio preview, okay? And you kind of know when a lot of these were released because you can see when they were released here. We have audio preview, you have, we have mini TTS, and you see we have mini search preview. What is that? What does that mean? So if I type search, mini search preview, okay. Um, Excuse me, there's 4.0 mini search, there's 4.0 search. And you'll see it gives you a warning. Some values are not supported when using reasoning in search models, such as 01. The following parameters will not be sent in requests using reasoning models, even if you have defined them in the module, top P, presence, frequency, okay, et cetera. Got it, that's fine. Whatever. Let's just simply use the user option here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to ask, please for the date of, and then I'm gonna do a little format date, and then take now and do month, month, day, day, year, year, year. Please for the date of this day, give me any and all news on the mainline AI products that are popular. Okay, so I'm gonna right click here just to show you what it would mean for this to work. And what do we get? What, as of April 2nd, several Significant developments have emerged in the AI industry. Ladies and gentlemen, you were seeing this correctly. It found an article that was released today. This is it. This is the moment where you can make any completion agentic. Look, copy paste. Does that say, okay, it says March 31st. Obviously we know even if I looked this up in ChatGPT, it would mess up on some of these. However, that's news. That is from recent. Let's look up another one. That's from March 30th. That's news. Okay, so let's do another question. I'm going to just duplicate this and try another one just to test it out. I'm so stoked by this, by the way. This is incredible. Please, for the for the date range of, and then I'm going to do add days, and then go now minus seven, put a little hyphen between the two days. I'm going to flip flop the order. Okay, and then I'm going to put the same format date around these month, month, DD, year, year. Okay. Give me any and all news on the open AI suite of AI tools and products. Please respond with a detailed breakdown of each and every update, as well as the link to the release notes, if possible. And then I'm gonna right click and try it. Then I'm gonna right click on it and try it. And we'll see that it's gonna, it's gonna attempt to look 
for news in the past week. Okay, so we got results. Okay, so between March 26th and April 2nd, OpenAI secures 40 billion in funding. Jeez Louise, is that real? I must have missed this. Looks like an April Fool's joke. Wow. Imagine announcing this on April 1st. That's incredible. SoftBank. Ooh, feels like the weak movie. Okay, so it did receive money. That's from Axios, so it's a reputable source. Okay, so policy shift in content generation. Let's check it out. It's another reference on time. Now you'll see here, by the way, in all of these, UTM source equals OpenAI. That means that they're using this for their own analytics, just FYI. People are trying to figure out what amount of search is coming from here. Okay, so more info on the last week, introduction of ChatGPT's 4.5 release, advancements in AI reasoning. So there is a bit of an issue when it comes to dates. I said last seven days, and it's basically going through here. What you could do is you could put another OpenAI module that essentially says, hey, please look for all the dates. Maybe you can actually have this sort and parse it via JSON. And then from there, you can use a JSON parser module and then have it filter so it only goes through. But imagine the complexities and the possibilities here. We can make it not only look things up, but then verify it was from the right sources and from the right dates. And this could enhance content that you're creating. Say, for example, you've created a blog and you want to look up more sources for fun facts on productivity hacks or AI hacks or whatever it is. You can add that context now via a native search module. None of the wishy-washy, weird third-party integration type stuff. No, they, they directly have a search preview here, which I'm sure they're going to add the functionality to other models here. For those of you that are unaware, it is actually literally a different model. It's not the same model. It's not a 4.0 model that then has the ability to search the internet. It is a 4.0 model that is fine-tuned for searching the internet. That is what the words have been coming out of the mouth of the people at OpenAI, so I hope that made sense. This makes it the first competitor on the market that has the ability to do this. What other products are out there? Obviously, Claude can't do this. Uh, for all intents and purposes, if I look up Gemini, sure, you can create a completion. I am not actually sure. Okay, so it does seem like it doesn't actually have access to the internet. So it's one of those things where I believe, while this isn't really something a lot of people are thinking of, I can call out the fact that, hey, ladies and gentlemen, this can augment all of your workflows right now. If you need to refresh your blogs, if you have some sort of blog API situation going on where you're refreshing blog content to make it look better, utilize the search functionality in the API now. Utilize any of the search functionality you can to enhance what you're doing because at the end of the day, what we're looking for is fresh content. What we're looking for is fresh ideas. And now that it is a first party option from the most, I guess, reputable would be the right word or maybe popular AI product out there, you can make an AI agent actually look things up, which previously third party tools were kind of required. So with that being said, Please let me know what your thoughts are on this. And if you're going to try this out, I'm really excited to see what each and every one of you does. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.